Yo, what's up? So I'm just chilling on this couch here and I wanted to give a talk. Man, I don't even have a topic for this, so I guess I'm gonna just ran on. So first days of being 18, how does it feel being a legal adult? Um I, I felt some moments being like a li I felt a little odd that I'm legally a, an, an adult uh, meaning I can now freely move out to where I want to and pay all my bills and taxes and all that um, except for medic Medicaid I think except for ah what do you call it well except for my medical stuff which is gonna be handled by my mother or father until I, I'm 26 because that's how it is in the United States um, like I can't well, I still can't drink and stuff but it doesn't really matter to me because I'm not really interested in, in drinking smoking either you know so I gotta wait until a few like a few years so till I can do that but it does does that I don't mind uh, another thing I'm like I'm interested in seeing if I can go to a men's lounge I don't think it's like a good like you know maybe uh <laughs> use of my money to go see some cheeks on the weekends <laughs> but I figured I'd probably go in one time I don't know if I'm allowed now I like I said I'm, I'm not really interested in drinking so I'd go being s sober and I don't know <laughs> I don't think that's as much fun um and I like I, I just don't know what the le what the legal age is to go there um weird thing though New York State, I found out age of consent is 17. I didn't even know that. So I achieved that a year ago. And also a year ago, I were probably, I guess there were probably bigger years because 17 was when I could officially buy rated M games and I could officially go see rated R movies. Yeah. Um, <laughs> other than that, I mean, I still feel like a kid. Uh, and I still... And I wish to keep feeling like a kid. I do not believe in maturity. I, I, I embrace maturity, I think, when it's physical. I think physically I've grown mature, you know, um, since I was five years old. I mean, obviously, I, yes, I have grown physically mature. But I mean, I have, how do you say, I don't want to leave that stuff behind. I, I don't want to say, yeah, I moved on from all that stuff, you know, um, that I'm a... Um, I'm a different age. I gotta, I gotta do different stuff and think differently. Look, I, I, I want to be immature, okay. Uh, but there's a little bit of a difference, I think, or, or there's a little bit of a thing that people associate with uh, maturity. I guess whatever. I don't even know what maturity means, uh, as far as like, you know, you gotta act mature. Um, I hate being told to grow up. I refuse to grow up. What I do instead is I understand, or I try to get a better understanding of respect and professionalism. When I was nine years old, I had respect, you know, like to a point like people always, a lot of times, uh, adults said I was I was a mature young young man, and I don't really, f I never really found myself mature. I just thought I'm that I, I'm mad respectful I try to be mad respectful or maybe I'm not even trying to be respectful I just am that respectful because look man I feel like people I, I feel like that's that's super 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 important man to give people respect and ever since I was uh, nine or I think even younger I always try to be polite and respect because yo um, things I think go a little bit more smoother when you're more respectful and polite and plus I, I want to I have this it, a, a little bit of another thing that comes with it, I think, or goes with it, is that I like, I'd say to to serve people, uh, to help people, and so if I'm polite and respectful, I feel like I'm helping them have a easier time with dealing with me, you know, um, and maybe I'm making their day better. Sometimes I can't even really explain it. It kind of just I think how I was brought up by my parents to be respectful and polite, and I never really found too much of a reason not to I, I think I can be uh, go on the other side and, and try to argue why you, sh you shouldn't you know show respect all the time but I think I'd rather be you know respectful and all that and that's why I think probably people think I'm mature even though yo I I, I want to tell you I'm not man I'm not mature <laughs>
Uh, I still, <laughs> I still laugh <laughs> at the idea of when someone says duty, uh, or 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 pee pee or something like that. Um, but I think yeah, I think that stuff is important. And if you are a kid watching this, like I feel like that is that yo that is super important and that helps you get further. Um, and I know I I mean I have this belief that. People, even if they're the best people in the world, they can still be done wrong and unfair. But I think generally, you know, hopping onto the bus, being respectful and polite, or talking with people, being respectful and polite, uh, and polite is is important. I think I don't know if it's also a New York thing. I I also know that there's a lot of people in my state, uh, and that yo, sh I I better show respect to all these people. I don't know what they're going through in their life or. Or if today is like the worst day and they need that respect uh, and patience that I'm hopefully able to offer them and give them. Um, I feel like if I don't want to be disrespected, I shouldn't disrespect somebody else. And things just go sm much more smoother with a stranger if you're just more respectful, man. So I feel like not much, uh, or I, probably not much has changed since I was a kid. When I, when I was a kid, I made a promise to myself that I will always be a kid. Um, and I hope to act uh, and, and work for uh, children, you know. I'm very interested in the education system, and I'm very interested in uh, Codename Kids Next Door, which <laughs> I'll probably do something with later, because there's a website where you could, like, be an agent, and I don't know. Exactly what you what you would do the the supreme leader I think of the website like left it abandoned it some time ago I want to see if I can probably bring everyone together and make Codename Kids Next Door live on and maybe continue the series because there was something pitched to New York uh, to Cartoon Network to continue the series and it was like denied or something it wasn't given the green light and I feel like with the fan base of Codename Kids Codename Kids Next Door and um, the the amount of talent there is out there. You combine that, and there could be like an like a web series of Galactic Kids Next Door. Um, but I, I don't even know if anyone watching this like knows Kids Next Door. It <laughs> I didn't even explain what that was. It's just a it was just a Cartoon Network series that was out years ago, man. It was one of the shows that I grew up with. Uh, like you know, next to Ed and Eddie and Dexter's Laboratory and Kone, uh and Powerpuff Girls and Johnny Bravo <laughs> yeah um, currently I'm considering a lot on how I'm gonna go from here I'm running out of days fast on 20k subscribers um, I'm, I'm right now on, on 152 days and it seems more and more impossible and it looks like I gotta be more and more realistic but I'm not I'm still not giving up man I'll be probably the day before 20k subscribers the the deadline and I'll still probably be like how am I gonna get 20k by tomorrow you know I I am a I like to think of myself as a delusional optimist and I don't want to give up you know but I know a lot of stuff I I've put myself down like you know when uh, I lost people you know recently and the setback and my my problem with procrastination and laziness um, look, I, I understand that I'm still super young, and I'm trying to I'm trying to shave uh, uh, shape my life very drastically at a young age, man. Um, I'm very used to as a, as a as a child the amount of hours I've spent as a child and teenager just on the computer and TV. Um, I I don't know if I can't imagine how much time I've spent just looking at television and and you know the internet and for me I don't consider it a waste of time I think um, like I I've said this before in some other vlog uh, I think in a way it's allowed me to live through different lives um, in one life like if you you know how you get into a, a video game so much that you're not even playing a video game you're actually like Master Chief and you're actually living through this stuff you know what I mean like that immersion and I feel like I've had that to the point where I'm I'm happy man uh, I'm happy you know that I spent all that time um, cause I was, especially when I was a kid, that was the time of playing, you know, I, a lot of people at that age, I think go out and play and stuff. And I, I was alone in my room 
And yeah, at one point it, it got too much, but I, you know, spending all day, you know, uh, watching TV, and you know, your parents uh, can pay you for the whole experience. You don't have to pay a thing. Is is you know quite the life, I'd say. And now I find myself very much attracted to the idea of being responsible. Um, you know, I wish I could have moved out when I was 18, like like, like the birthday, but you know, I didn't uh, build up enough money at the time to to move out. And I know I need a stable uh, stream of income to 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 do that. You know, and it's hard, man. My my uh, my teacher, my history teacher, that just left the school. You know, I mean, they, you know, they were struggling. I think, I, well, I don't want to put her on the spot. Everybody's struggling, like, especially Long Island, New York. I heard Long Island, New York is like, uh, from other people's perspective, like where the rich people live. And I don't think I'm rich. I think I, I am rich in, if you compare me to other people. But it's that whole compar com comparate, com comparison game of, yeah, you're here, but something can always get worse. And you, something can always get better, you know, so you... It's like you can think of yourself as super poor or super rich depending on how you look at it. And my, my second goal after the 20K one, my second biggest goal is become an entrepreneur without ever applying for a job. And yo, I feel I find myself in a, in a more desperate stage to make money. And I know the answer is to get a job. But because that's my goal, that's out of the question. So I am... Uh, this desperation, as I knew it would, is helping me discover other routes that I can take and other things I can do to make my goal a reality, my dream a reality. And even if one day I, I don't achieve those dreams, I, I would know that they were achievable. I just should have put more time and effort towards it. Because honestly, there is a lot of times I find myself slacking and it should have been up to me to use that slacking time for more productive stuff um so yeah i found myself trying to see how I'm, how i'm gonna do the social media thing um debating on you know what i, I what i want to want to do in life like i know i want to do this but i'm very inspired by other people and i'm i'm wondering if i want to i want to do the same thing that that they've done to be successful or do I want to do something different? Because um, I admire the way other people have done it. And I'm like, do I want to do that same thing? I, I look at it from an outside perspective, perspective and I'm like, yo, that's, that's beautiful. I think I want to do that. I think I, will, I would want to live that life. But also then, it's not my life really anymore. I'm like copying somebody else and it's not original. And I'm thinking like, do I really want this type of thing? Like... Do I want to follow in their footsteps exactly, or do I somehow break the barrier and do what I what I wanted to do or what I want to do? Um, do I go back to plans that I had a few years ago when I was like, this is going to be a professional thing. Uh, the cameras, uh, me on camera is going to be a different character and all that, and I'm going to grow this business, these businesses differently. So I had a whole plan for, um, like different platforms and everything and how content was going to be on every on everywhere and it's a lot for me to debate you know but um i mean i feel pretty much right it's getting mad late and i really want to go um you know see my dad for a little bit i wish i could have seen him uh earlier but i you know that's stuff to do i always have stuff stuff to do but more than that it's like raining i wanted to go to the gym and everything and um walk get the sweat coins i want but mom you know i don't want to i don't want to piss anyone off I, I, I like the issue was today was like vlogging and holding the umbrella like am i gonna do that and i can't vlog in the mall um because like i'm not allowed because <laughs> i tried before and i was cut off by security pretty much or the, they were trying to cut me off i wasn't cutting off the camera but then the camera i think uh died or ran out of storage so it's a lot, man, but I'm doing all right. I feel like I'm doing all right. Um, I'm still... Um, I'm, I'm for the most part all right. How about that? Yeah. Still trying to... Well, 
time is, I think, forcing me to move on from the losses of my teachers from November and December. And other people in the past, I, I remember them and stuff, and it gets bad, I think, uh, in my mind. But I think for the most part, I'm alright because I don't find myself wallowing in despair anymore, really. I mean, not most of the time anyway, you know. I feel more like ambitious and I feel like, man, I want to be responsible. Like, I want to pay my own stuff and I want to live on my own and I want to I wanna make this happen. And I, f I feel like I'm more, I'm mostly, I guess, all right. Or at least I'll, I'll be all right, you know. There was, there was one point in my life where I didn't even need to put another character on the camera. Because I really was, like, all that energetic and all that crazy on camera. Because I really was that. And I was that happy. I was living through ecstasy. And I find myself to be in a position where if I had to put that on camera, I would have to really try. And I'm wondering if it is it worth it. But I know I, I, it's possible. Or I'm, I'm thinking it's probably possible to. be that to live in that ecstasy again or something like that where I'm always happy and I feel like it moved on but yeah I'm gonna try to handle my own stuff um, and settle my own things like I have been and hopefully I can make a change you know, out there somewhere but yeah um, I'll probably get back to my life uh, I, I love I love um, holding up the camera and being able to lay down and vent to you people on the other side of the screen. I mean, I'm, I feel right now that this is my passion, and I'm I'm afraid. I think of the idea that I can grow to be like 30 and regret what I'm doing right now. But I feel like if I always remember that I'm potentially potentially helping people. Uh, more than they could ever think for, then it's it's worth it. I don't know if I said that right, but I mean, like, I gotta remember my reason, you know, why I'm doing this, and I think it's gonna be all right. All right, thanks for watching. Um, if you wanna support the channel, it's links in the description to added influence that pays you while you post online, um, and two sweat coin that pays you while you walk. Both links in the description, uh, like and subscribe, and post note stuff, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Tomorrow, hopefully, I'm going to go to a convention with uh, my friend to Brooklyn, and we were given, like, permission, well, he said that, he, he, he was told that he could film there, so I'm going to try to bring the camera, we're going to try to uh, hopefully make some funny content tomorrow. And, uh, you know, I hope tomorrow's alright. Probably will be, you know. But I'll bring this camera and, you know, you guys can come with me to see if it, if it really is a good time or if it sucks or whatever, but I'll try to capture it. Alright. A lot of blabbering. Uh, I love you guys. Alright. <laughs> um, peace out. Peace.